should go some Mario Love. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I was just filming it out, but y'all, I'm literally looking at my phone right now. And I have not posted a YouTube video since a month ago. Since my birthday. Yeah, I haven't posted a video since June 25th. So, today y'all, I'm coming to give y'all some content, I guess. I'm going to give y'all like a video on like what they don't tell you about your freshman year of college. But the twist to it is, it's not really based off like a HBCU because I go to FIU. So I can't, I'm going to give y'all my opinion based off me being a student at FIU, which I think is a good school. I feel like it's a good school. I'm not going to be like, it's the best school in Miami, but no shade with it, no shade with it. Nah, but I like my school. It's really cool. It's a nice school. So I'm gonna give y'all like some advice, some like things they don't tell y'all. I have a lot, like a lot of stuff to talk about. So this video might be long, but before I get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. Y'all, I be trying to get content out, but it's it's really hard. It's really hard to record, and I literally work every single day. And now that school is coming back, I'm like, okay, let me get some back to school content in because I know I know what the people want to see because when I was a college freshman I know what I was searching my search for freshman in college what is college like you know so I was like okay let me run behind y'all with that okay so that's what this video is going to consist of if y'all have any questions that I did not respond to or any topics that I didn't respond to in this video leave it in the comments and I will create another video to provide y'all with some further insight and I know that my school is starting in two weeks so I do want to say to all the new freshmen and all the college students good luck on your fall semester and I'm wishing y'all nothing but the best okay so without further ado let's get into this video okay I feel like I was a little too close so I had to scoot back so hopefully y'all can hear me good so we're gonna start with the first thing they don't tell you that I felt like they didn't tell me as a college freshman. So the first thing is the transition from high school is kind of hard. Like it's hard. It was hard for me. And what I mean by that is there's way more people in college than there were in high school. And when I say way more people, there's like a different range of people, like grown adults taking classes. Like I, there was an old man in my class before like he wasn't that old but he like he could be in his 30s or something so you know there's a different range of people in college versus what it was in high school so it's like when I came to college I was like a little nervous seeing like so many people on campus like in high school it was like okay and especially me being a, I did online high school like for my last two years so I didn't know well, understand I'm gonna say three is because when COVID dropped, then I was in 10th grade. So for my last three years of high school, I did online. So I didn't really experience like a lot of people in high school. But when I got to college, it was like, okay, calm down, calm down. And then like, what else can I say? The workload, I feel like the workload is definitely, it's not that different because a lot of things that I learned in high school, I'm still learning it in college so it's like it's not really much of a difference but the workload is different because you're more focused on a precise workload versus in high school you're focused on everything like but now in college you're focusing on your major and what's important in your major you get what I'm trying to say so the next thing was the first few weeks or months you may feel homesick y'all I cannot count them out of times when my mom dropped me off last year I looked out the window about to cry literally crying like I wanted to cry so bad because like I wanted to go home and I was gonna miss my mom so I'm like did this lady really just drop me off in this random apartment and just left me here like left me didn't even care but yeah the first few weeks you may feel a little homesick especially like if you haven't met people yet so if you're somebody like me that is hard to communicate with people or get to know new people, 
then it's like hmm you know like i haven't genuinely met like okay my first fall semester i'm gonna get into that i'm gonna get into that later in the video but fall semester i really didn't meet people until spring semester of college and that was like the last semester of my freshman year so y'all could tell that i literally didn't do anything but go to class and i started picking up shifts at work like working overnight i didn't do anything only person i knew was my boyfriend and he don't go to this school so it's like okay but yeah it's gonna be like a little homesick and a hard transition from high school from being at home with your parents or your people you know it's gonna be different but you'll get through it honestly okay the next thing this is really important y'all this next thing is really important you are going to get discouraged from attending classes especially during the rainy seasons okay during the rain, rainy seasons you're gonna be like i am not walking to campus like i'm not or i'm not walking to the class you could live on campus and still say you're not walking to class in the rain but let me tell you something let me tell you something you know that's what i'm like let me tell you something wait let me tell you something i feel like i'm saying it right but i might be saying it wrong but those college professors they will fail you if you do not show up to class they don't care if it's a thunderstorm you still need to show up a lot of professors great on attendance okay so for instance i took a religion course over the summer and my professor when i attended class one day in the rain because i'm like okay he grades off attendance and our attendance was our overall grade i showed up to class he was like why did you come and i'm like I couldn't stay home it was like me and like i want to say five other people people in class he was like why did you come i'm like okay cool so i know next time it rained i could stay home the next time it rained i stayed home it was pouring down raining i felt i got a zero a big fat zero and my grade dropped my grade dropped so low so low it was like okay but yeah get up and go to class because if your attendance matter best believe nine times out of ten your attendance is your overall grade it's like your exam your attendance participation like attendance and participation is pretty much the same thing like it's going to be your overall grade if your professor cares about those things but there are some classes or some courses if i should say that don't care the professors don't care but the, those that do care and you know they care get up and go to class do not be lazy don't be me because i stay like 10 minutes like a 10 minute walk from campus even though it's right across the street it's like a 10 minute walk to me to me depending on where i'm going on campus if it drizzles an inch a one if i feel one drop of rain i'm turning back around and going upstairs why because i i just i use any excuse not to go to class like if, especially if i don't like the class so get up and go to class don't be like me um okay next thing i'm gonna say outfits outfits okay if you go to a pwi like me when you're going to class not a lot of people dress up okay from being on fiu campus i have not seen a lot of people dressing up to go to class many people go to class in whatever they can go to class on workout clothes they don't care like i go to class in a graphic tee and some leggings and some crocs i don't care i really don't care like Nobody really dress up. Now, if you go to an HBCU, I don't know how it is because a lot of people say that HBCU students dress up every day. I don't know. I don't know about none of that because me, I can't put on outfits multiple times a day. But when it comes to going out at FIU parties and stuff, people still barely dress up. But me, I'm throw something on. Okay, I'm put on a cute little outfit. My have to put on my little short, my little crop top, you know, my little lip gloss, lashes, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Nobody really dressed up for class at FIU. Nobody really dressed up there. But I would definitely say if you're somebody that wants to dress up, do it. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to stop you from, like, I feel like me personally, if you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you're going to do good throughout the semester so dress up look your best if you want if you want to come to class in your sunday's best do it nobody cares really 
So yeah, that's that. Okay, so this next one, when I was a freshman and I was looking at whether staying off campus on, on campus, I chose to stay off campus because I just couldn't get my head wrapped around the idea of my bed being here and somebody bed being there. No. And y'all, okay, I'm in a relationship. So I knew for a fact my man stayed 30 minutes away. I knew for a fact I was going to want to see him. And I'm not about to ask somebody, hey, are you going to be here? No, no. So I needed my own room. And then I like to cook. So I'm like, oh, I need a kitchen. I need, I need a stove. I need a refrigerator. Like, I need all that. But I do want to say this. Staying off campus as a freshman makes it so much harder for you to meet people. Like, this is not a lie. Like, it's so much harder to meet people. If you don't attend events on campus and socialize, you're not meeting nobody if you stay off campus. I feel like it's so much easier for people on campus to meet people because I feel like many times the REs be hosting events that you can go to and attend and meet people in your dorm or your dorm building or whatever. But in our apartment building, you're not really gonna find that. So the way I met people was usually through Instagram. Like I'll usually test my like, oh, hey, like, girl, you go to FIU? Like, you know, something like that. And then we'll just be like, oh, we should hang sometime. And that's it. And it, we just hang out. But other than that, on campus, I barely met anybody. I'll talk to people in class, but to actually socialize with them outside of class, honey, deep in a special, we be wilding. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So, um, the next one. Oh my God, y'all. This is why I said I was gonna keep this for the rest of the video. You will. I'm not going to say you will, you might, or you most likely will fall out with the people that you were friends with your freshman year. Like there's, that's nothing but the truth, nothing but the truth. And it may be me that I don't know how to find my friends correctly, but baby, let me tell you, you're going to, a lot of times freshman year, and I'm saying this just because to say it, a lot of times freshman year, we hang out with people because we need people to hang out with but as you get further up into your years you start hanging out with people that you like and not people that you seem like you were forced to hang out with because you had nobody else to talk to and let me tell you this also friend wise in college a lot of people when the fall and spring semester is over with a lot of people will hit you up to hang out with you because their friends are no longer on campus okay i'm just letting y'all know that and a lot of people, like, you may feel like, okay, I need to hang out with these people because I don't have nobody to hang with. But, babe, it's okay to be by yourself. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. My job just posted my schedule. It's totally okay. So, with that being said, most likely you will fall out with your freshman friends. I still talk to, like, two girls that I met, like, one spring semester, one summer semester. So, technically the girl summer semester it wasn't freshman year it was sophomore year i guess but still most likely you're gonna fall out with your freshman friends so because those are people that you're forcing yourself to hang with unless y'all have a good little friend group so that's what i'm saying most likely but yeah okay so this one was a really big one for me y'all i'm sorry this one was a really big one for me. It was, it's okay to do things alone and by yourself because in college, nobody's paying attention to you. Nobody cares what you do. We're all just trying to go through. We're all probably struggling in life. We all probably trying to find our way in life. We're all probably trying to do different things. So it's like, we're not focused on what you're doing. If you want to flip around campus, go ahead. If you want to lay on the grass in camp on campus, go ahead. And let me tell you this, in FIU, you're going to see a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a, a bunch of people that might have a little picnic in the middle of campus. Like, nobody cares. Just do what you do. But as I would say, don't embarrass yourself. Like, don't, don't do something that you wouldn't want to see other people doing. Like, 
don't run around campus naked like don't do that like i'm not saying don't do that like don't do that but if you want to join a sport or something or you want to join a club or something a sorority or organization whatever but you're scared that people aren't gonna are gonna look at you really girl boy i promise you we don't care we don't care and that goes back to say wear what you want to wear also because nobody is paying attention to what you're doing but i do want to say like in high school before i came up when i came to college i was so scared to eat by myself and study by myself literally so scared because i'm like everybody's looking at me i feel like everybody be looking at me because hmm hmm i just feel like everybody be looking at me and it's not even a, in a conceited way it's more like a, a nervous way because i hate to feel like i'm the center of attention so like i would be scared to eat or sit outside and study by myself but now i do it normally like i just go to gc or i go to graham the um the library green library why was i about to say graham library if i used to this if you're watching this please don't bash me because i know you know i know but i go to green library and study and stuff like nobody cares like sit by yourself and do things you know but yeah um oh this one most of the times at fiu parties um it consists of the sororities scrolling like to half of every song playing like most that's what most of the parties consist of is the sororities or the organizations like the frats and stuff they're gonna be scrolling at the party so i guess be prepared for that i never really seen them do it at like dorm parties that i went to but like pool parties and parties that are thrown by them or like parties that are thrown by the school or something like organizations on the school you're gonna see the story scrolling so that's just something that you're gonna see so yeah um the next thing i do want to say that people did tell me this before going to college but use the library to study like if you feel like you're slacking off or you you're having a hard time to study or you need anything use the library to study and if i used to this the library offers computers in there printing services computers like different floors and levels to sit on i do want to say i do want to say if you're a fiu student please do not sit on the second floor thinking you're gonna study don't do it don't do it we all made that mistake before but please don't do it because you're gonna try to study and you're gonna hear somebody having a loud a conversation like the conversation is gonna be so loud that's the chatting floor like that's literally the chatting floor so don't think you're gonna go on the first floor or the second floor and study it's another floor that people be talking on but i forgot the floor but don't think you're gonna go on there and study i used to go on like the third floor i think that's like the most quietest probably but yeah don't think you're gonna go on one or two and study but y'all definitely use the library to study um get resources all different types of things so yeah also fiu students for some reason to me um the library bookshelves are so hard to navigate like so hard to navigate because me and this girl went to the library one day to just check out the library because that was my first time in there and i was looking for books the lady told us how to find non-fiction books and then we went it was like where are the non-fiction books they were like no really not really that much good books so it's hard to navigate but you can definitely find a lot of stuff with your major so yeah okay so this more so on an academic level i do want to say y'all some advice that i would give freshmen coming in or any college student in general try to study in a setting that your tests and lectures are in like but that's just my personal advice because you know it's hard for me to be at home and study because i'm sitting in my bed right now and then i'll just lay back and just be like i'm not studying no more so i think studying in a like the place where your lecture and exam will be or similar places will help you during your exam to see how the setting will be like and it gets you more comfortable you know what i'm trying to say so 
yeah um the next one is professors usually recommend you to study two to four hours out of your day or a week to study after the lectures like any notes you took after the lectures take two to four hours to study those notes like I, I don't know what it is, but it helps me remember things a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And another thing is, like, y'all, when you're in class taking notes, me personally, typing notes do not help me remember. And I remember reading, like, some psychology book in my psychology class, and it stated that, if we're like, the more we write our notes, it helps our brain process it. Because as we're writing it, our brain is remembering. But if we're typing it, it's, like, harder for us to remember it or something. I don't know. But ever since I started writing my notes or, like, using my iPad to write my notes, I have not forgotten anything. That's how I remember that thing because I have not forgotten it. So, yeah, y'all. That's some good advice. Um, The next thing is read the syllabus read the syllabus like I cannot stress this enough read your syllabus because many times the professor is going to put the due dates for everything your 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 reading requirements for everything like literally everything in high school I never read the syllabus never in my life but even in high in college sometimes and most times those professors make you take a quiz on the syllabus and you have to read the syllabus to pass the quiz so Read the syllabus because it's very beneficial and you're, you are able to see when everything is due and you can plan ahead. It's better. Like, it's way better, you know? Yeah, I had to drink some water. But the next thing I would say is try to attend office hours because if you're confused on any assignments and, like, you don't you don't have anyone else to ask questions about or google is not being your best friend or quizlet is not being your best friend use office hours and many times professors give you extra credit for office hours so keep that in mind that office hours are there to help you better understand the assignments when the lectures are not helping or when you're confused on just your notes like you can ask the professor for better help and many times okay starting as a freshman many professors told me that attend office hours so the professor can get to know your face and in the future if you continue if your professor see that you continue to show up multiple times you can use them as a reference so keep that in mind okay um the next thing i would say is put yourself out there to meet new people because as you get further into your years, it's harder and harder to meet people. Like, if you're a introvert and you're not trying to put yourself out there, honey, I'm telling you now, you're never going to meet people. Like, I had to get out of my comfort zone to meet people because I'm more so a person that stays to myself. And if people, like, speak to me, I would never, I'm so nervous to meet people. Like, I'm just so nervous to meet people. So I have to get out my comfort zone. And that's why I say, put yourself out there. If you want to go anywhere or you want to exceed anywhere in life. I think that's how you say it. You just have to put yourself out there, honestly. So like, if you see somebody and you like, okay, me personally. Okay, I'm on my campus, I don't care. Okay, let me just say this. One, people on FIU campus, they are so rude or something. I don't know if it's like a Miami thing, but they are really rude sometimes like if say for instance i see somebody not like their hair and i'm like oh your hair is so pretty they just like or they're like mm. like or they say like things like that and it's like well damn well damn okay but i mean don't let that scare y'all y'all just put yourself out there honestly i get off topic a lot and it's like okay um, the next thing is grades matter. Grades matter literally every time and all the time. Your semester GPA or your overall GPA is based on your grades. In college, if you get an NC, which is a no credit, you automatically fail that class. And financial aid will stop covering you if you fail too many classes. 
I know because I was put on a probation period because I kept failing. I think I failed one class and he told me if I fell again, I'm going to be put on a probation period. I never failed another class after that. I didn't, I never got a no credit on, no, 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 no. Because, honey, my intro ain't not about to cover who? Not about to cover who? Oh, okay. But yeah, y'all, your grades matter. So study, make a study group if you have to, study with your friends, do whatever you need to do to pass. Because your grades are your overall main point of college. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So the next thing is try to join clubs and organizations because at most times it's a great look on your resume. And I know I see a lot of TikTokers talking about like once you leave college, you need to take some of those stuff off your resume. But let me tell you, there's so many organizations and stuff that you can join to put on your resume. Like, okay, at FIU, I know they have like I think it's National Black Woman in Medicine or something. And I was thinking about joining it, but I just haven't done so yet. But there's a lot of things like that that gives you opportunities in community service in different, like just different opportunities, different opportunities to help you and that you can put on your resume. So join those programs. FIU Sisters, I think it's like, I forgot what it is, but it's pretty much just, you know, some black women in like community service. They do community service and stuff. You have, uh, what else? You have big sister, little sister at FIU, where it's like you get a mentor. If you're a freshman and you want to join that, you definitely should. Like you definitely should. Um, I guess I never joined it. Like I thought about it, but then I just didn't do it. But yeah, like do those type of things. Okay. Um, I feel like one thing I wish I knew before coming to college was that many scholarships, and I want to say from an FIU student's point of view, many scholarships that FIU offer is based off a high GPA. You have to have a three point something. You have to be a certain major. And it's just like they offer little, little scholarships to people. Like really. And it's just like, you're not giving us any type of way to pay off school but like i do want to say like i don't know there are scholarships out there that's obviously not through the school but it's been so hard for me to find scholarships but honestly i just stopped stressing about it and i just go on with school like it's whatever but yeah um the next thing i want to say is if you're a girl and you like to carry those tote bags now, let me tell you this. Before I came to college, I was shopping over the summer. And I bought a Marc Jacobs tote bag. Y'all, my boyfriend told me. He literally said, you spend $200 on a, a purse. And I'm like, I'm going to wear it for school. I told my mom that too. I'm going to wear it for school. Yeah, I'm going to use it to go. I'm going to tote it. We'll put all my books and stuff in there. Blah, 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 blah. First of all, I ended up getting an iPad. So I don't carry no books to campus. And then, when I would carry notebooks in my laptop, oh my god, that junk used to weigh my shoulder down. I ran and I bought a backpack. So basically, I spent all that money on a tote bag and I don't use it. I really don't use it. I use it on days when I just want to feel cute. But other than that, y'all, if you're thinking about getting a tote bag, oops, if you're thinking about getting a tote bag, you might as well get a backpack also because best believe it will be heavy okay um the next thing i want to say is okay the whatsapp group chats that people will be missing i have i'm like i'm not all for it but i do want to say if you join it join it to if you actually need help with assignments or stuff or need understanding on assignments but there was a time where Professors are able to join those group chats also because people send those group chat links through Canvas. If you're FIU students, they send those group chats through Canvas and many times they don't check who they're sending it to and it gets sent to the professor. Professors could join those group chats and see who's failing, I mean who's cheating, 
and will fail you and they can also report you to the university and FIU consider that academic misconduct or whatever and they have like this whole little thing I don't know but I don't really join I think I joined one and that's because we had to join it to do a group assignment or something but that was it but yeah Complete all your assignments on time because many professors do not allow late work. Like when I say, when those professors say something is due at 11.59, the assignment closed at 11.59, not 11.59.01, .01, like 11.59 on the dot. So turn your assignments on time because professors consider the grade you get is the grade you get. The grade you get is the grade you get. Some offer extra credit, but some just say that like, you know, you should have did the work and you should have did it in like a good way, I guess. So do your work on time and do it in the best way possible. And you should pass. So, yeah. Um, Now, let me say this. This is for every college. But you just rate my professor. Please, I can't stress this enough. Rate my professor. Many professors since I started college said, oh, don't believe the students are rate my professor because they um they use their own opinions like based off their own opinions based before the truth or whatever there's many times i see people rate a professor based off the fact that the professor wouldn't allow them to submit late work but it's like that's not their fault like you should have did it did it did the work on time but like many times the reviews on rate my professor are truthful some people will give you straight up like a, how can I say it? Like they will give you their straight truth on that professor. If you're wondering whether that professor, like the teaching ways of that professor, the students will tell you, and they will tell you in their own words, not ratings like oh one star, two star. No, like literally type a full paragraph that they have to. If they don't like the teacher, they will state that. They will state why. You just read my professor. I cannot stress this enough. I felt so many classes because I didn't use rate my professor and I joined a class where the professor didn't have a good teaching format and I felt so yeah you should my professor can't stress it any more than what it needs to be stressed okay so this one is for the FIU students wear comfortable shoes you see how big that campus is you see how long it takes to walk if you went to freshman orientation, you knew how long it took to walk. I knew how long it took to walk. And I still, literally, I still wear sandals, wear sandals on campus to go to class. And when I'm late and I'm walking fast, when I say my ankles be about to break, break, that's how bad, y'all. I think freshman orientation at FIU took an hour walk around the entire campus. I wanted to cry. And it wasn't even the entire campus because we didn't even do a walk around the dorms. But when I say I wanted to cry so bad, I wanted to cry. We did not walk like the football stadium and stuff. So it's like half a campus, like where the main buildings are. Y'all, mm -mm. wear comfortable shoes. I literally wear Crocs all day, every day, but I'm still gonna wear my sandals because I like to look cute. But yeah, um, the next one is freshman 15. So okay, when I didn't know what freshman 15 was until like I actually got to college, like, and I started seeing like, okay, this is legit. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it's not legit. If you stay fit, then okay. But if you're staying on campus or if you stay off campus and like you don't really cook like that and you don't really cook like that, like you're going to be ordering out or you're going to be eating snacks, ramen noodles, all those fattening stuff. Like I gained so much weight and now I'm trying to make up for I got to hit the gym now. Like can you, you can't really, I'm not really like I didn't gain that much weight, but I gained weight. So now I'm about to start hitting the gym because we got to get rid of this belly fat. Okay. But freshman 15 is definitely a thing. And I do want to say, watch what you eat because 
you're going to be gaining weight, especially if you're going to the calf like a lot. Yeah. Be careful. Um, especially fall semester. Like fall semester, that's when I really gained all the weight. And it was like, okay, girl. Um, I do want to say the next thing is get a reliable hairstyle. Now, before I come to college, I watched a lot of videos and I seen people leave reviews on like wearing wigs in college and they were talking about how like you know wigs aren't reliable and how that you know i can't really explain it but like basically you're not gonna want to do a wig every single day me i do i do not every day but i love to throw a good wig on i love to do my little wigs i love it but if you're also somebody like me who know how to do their own hair i do want to say if you're coming to fiu if you're coming to FIU and you don't have a car and you cannot rely on Uber or Lyft, get a bunch, I say a bunch of braiding hair and braiding supplies, like hair supplies as a black woman, a black woman or a black girl, if you want to consider yourself a black girl and not a black woman. Get some um, natural hair products or products just to do your hair because there's no beauty supply store for us in this area okay none none whatsoever and i'm just letting you know it's either miles away or on the other side of miami so sorry to say i guess that's what it's like being at a pwi not having a hair supply store near you but i feel like those things should be built in this area because like be so for real okay um so one thing I do want to say is if you don't have a car or like money to Uber around, I do want to say see if your school offers like free transportation because I know FIU offers like to drive you around this little small area. They got little Teslas now, y'all, because usually it used to be like a little cart, like a little long cart, but now they got like the little freebies where you can get in a little Tesla and they'll take you to the Publix or the Dollar Tree and stuff like different stuff so see if they have those things and i know also like they'll pick you up from your apartment and drive you to campus like they'll pick you up from anywhere and drive you back to campus so yeah see if your school offer that um more than likely you're most likely going to get a job your freshman year a lot of people told me not to move off campus my freshman year a lot of people said not to get a job freshman year but when i say eating I like to eat. I like to shop. When I say I like to shop, I like to shop. So seeing that, oh, don't get a job your freshman year, um, that's a lie. Because what are you going to... They're like, oh, college has everything for you. The calf? Clothing? No, they don't. Like, even if I want to buy merch at school, it's not free. Like, first of all, FIU merch is $70 for a hoodie. $70 girl y'all better get a job like you can even get an on-campus job and they let you work like 20 hours a week and most times they work around your school schedule so most likely you're gonna get a job because when you run out of money freshman year like you're gonna want to get a job you're gonna want to probably go to parties and stuff and like yeah what's the next thing there's other alternative to book shopping I know at FIU they have the Panther book pack, book pack or book bag. It's one of the book pack or the book bag. It's one of them. And they offer you for like $20 per credit hour. But that adds up, y'all. It really does add up because I didn't realize why my tuition rate was like high because, you know, I was off campus, but it's not really overly high. But like the books, I needed one book and I think they were charging me like 60 or something or for like both books it turned out to be like 180 or something I went on this website which is called bookrun.com I will leave the link below if y'all want to use it where I bought both of those books for less than $30 one of the books were only $12 and the other one was like 15 when I say y'all I was so impressed because I was able to rent the books out and like return them like 
you pay for these books and you can't you literally can't write them. I remember I paid for a book freshman year and they told me I couldn't write in it and I went to go return the book and they were like we don't keep it you keep it I'm like I didn't write in this book this entire year and you mean to tell me I pay for this book what but yeah y'all like I don't know it's cheap alternatives to find books many times you can find a book free online or you can find it for cheap somewhere else and I do want to say FIU is going to require all students maybe to get like an eye clicker those things are expensive so you gotta find it and pay for it buy it if you want to rent it out to the school good luck because I think I rented one out and I almost I literally lost it y'all I lost it I had to go back to class and pray that my teacher had it and he ended up not knowing it was there because a previous class came in after us but now it's like yep that's mine okay guys I am back the next thing I do want to say is be careful with getting answers online because most see that as well most schools see that as academic misconduct and you can either be kicked out of school for it or they will fight you for it so yeah but next thing is bringing a lot of clothes is unnecessary like don't overpack I overpack and I had to end up like throwing away like a lot of clothes I wish I could have gave them away but like there was no way I could I guess like there was a way but not really so um I had to end up letting go like a lot of clothes and I brought a lot of shoes with me that I don't wear and I even bought stuff for all semester so don't overpack because most likely you're gonna buy new stuff and you're also most like nine out of ten not gonna wear the stuff that you bought so yeah um the next thing i do want to say is most professors require you to read materials before attending class so with that being said if they give you a week to read that material read that material because when you get to class most times the lecture is just a refreshment of what you're supposed to read and the professor used that lecture to answer questions or to basically go over things that you should have already known because you read the information so read or you're gonna be lost and you're not gonna understand and when it comes to the exams you're most likely gonna fail so yeah okay the next thing I want to talk about is relationships so I see a lot of people say that relationships don't last in college and if you have a significant other that's going to another school then break up with them y'all let me say this let me say this like genuinely let me say this so for instance me and my boyfriend go to different colleges and he's like 30 minutes away from me i don't know if people will consider that long distance because we always live 30 minutes away from each other but like i do want to say relationships in college it's not hard based on the cheating part it's hard based on the distance like you're not close to each other so you're going to feel upset like when you get upset and you argue you might not be able to see each other to talk it out so many times you're going to argue because of the distance and you miss each other so much but cheating if you're a cheater you're a cheater if you're a cheater you should have been in a relationship in the first place but college does not break relationship you you do like i want to say like we're going on to our third year together like college has not destroyed that like I mean, you're gonna uh, like assume and like wonder like what they're doing at their campus, and if you don't want to deal with those type of things, then by all means, you know, you know. But I feel like if you really want your relationship to work, there's a possibility that you can. But everybody is different, so don't listen to the people that's gonna be like, "Oh, break up with that person." Just go with the flow until life tells you that it should be different. So. Yeah. the next thing is friends how to make friends i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know i'm still learning how to make friends but in college go out go if you go out alone go out alone and you see somebody girl i love your shoes like girl most times people are gonna bro you can go to a party at fiu people can be dancing you can hype them up and they automatically it's like oh shit you cool people or hey like people genuinely just vibe like just have a nice vibe i think that's how you make friends i really don't know but 
one thing I do want to say is be careful who you hang with because you can't hang with everybody, okay? Not everybody is deserving of your energy. What? Of your energy. Energy. You know, I'm going to just shut up on that note. Um, roommates. One thing I wish people would have told me about roommates, they're not clean. Staying on campus or off campus. I heard so many people tell me stories about off campus where their roommates do not clean up at all. But on campus, I mean, on campus, they tell me their room do not, roommates do not clean up also. Off campus, personal experience, roommates don't clean up. They don't respect your boundaries either. And they don't respect, like, when you say, like, oh, this, this, this. Like, I feel like choose your roommates wisely if you're able to. But me personally, I would never stay with a friend. So it's like, because if I find out you're dirty or not even you're dirty, but you don't clean up after yourself or you're not respecting my boundaries, I'm most likely going to fall out with you. Then I got to stay with you for a whole year. Like, that's not going to work. Um sharing with a random person that's something that i was not prepared for like i had to share a fridge with my roommates i still do i have to share a fridge with people and those things i just wasn't mentally prepared for so i feel like that's something you need to prep yourself for in college um staying off campus my roommates like how can i put it we had to share a fridge but i had the smallest space in the fridge but, you know, I didn't complain because I didn't shop. Like, I didn't really grocery shop like that. But I do want to say, like, it's going to be hard sharing space with somebody that you're not used to sharing space with. Okay? So, yeah. Um, Parties. Parties at FIU. Let me tell you, FIU students, there's not much parties. Like, fall semester, there wasn't that many parties. We had, like, a rooftop party. That was, it was mid it was it was meant to me like it wasn't all that i feel like because i left early also and i'm not really a party type of person but i went to a lot of dorm parties and it was they was hitting i thought you have a lot of pool parties a lot of pool parties like overly obsessed with pool parties i don't know what it is about a pool party but you're always going to see that at fiu so if you're fiu student my girls get your little cute bathing suits ready because they're most likely going to be a pool party i'm pretty sure there's a pool party first week like first week of school so yeah there's always gonna be a pool party um the parties they're cool i think college parties are not really what people make it out to be and that could be because i'm not at an hbcu where i usually see people talk about parties i guess so yeah but overall i remember talking to my boyfriend when i first before i went to college i'm like oh i'm not gonna party i'm not gonna party and I was like, oh, I'm going to go to at least one party. Like, I'm only going to go to at least one party. But other than that, I'm going to be focused on school. Girl, anytime I see a party, I'm out there. Okay? Any event, I'm out there. I'm young. I'm trying to experience life. Like, and I'm not saying nothing cheating. Like, nothing like that. But, or not doing something that's like, girl, that's not life. But it's just, you know, when you're young, you're not even in your 20s yet. You're just, like, experiencing life. Like, I'd never been to a party before. So, coming to college, it was like, mm, okay, this eats. So, every time there's a party, I'm there. Every time there's an event, I'm there. And FIU students, football season, listen, let me tell you, those tailgates, those tailgates, I love a good tailgate. I'm at every single tailgate. I love it. Like, FIU students, you cannot miss the tailgates. You got to show up to at least one. I show up to all of them, honestly. Like, and I'm not even over-exaggerating. Like, everybody be out there. And then you go to the football game right after. Like, I love a good tailgate. And the football games are cool. It's cool. You know, I don't know nothing about football, but I be there. And when I see our team score, I'm like, oh, power clap. You know, this so, all. Yeah, I mean, I went to like two basketball games, I think, before, or like one basketball game. I think it was like one basketball game. It was cool. I don't know, diddly squat about a basketball game. So, yeah. But definitely attend tailgates, y'all. You're going to love tailgates. Football season starting August this month. Y'all better be at them tailgates, okay? Don't miss it. And don't miss a game. 
show up, look cute. Do your thing, okay? But that is all I had on my advice for college freshmen or things I wish I knew before coming to college. Um, Y'all, good luck fall semester. Good luck spring semester. Good luck in general. I'm wishing y'all luck and hoping for the best. And also, y'all, when y'all go to college, do not be stressing about these boys and these girls because they're not there really to make a relationship they're there to have fun so i can't count the amount of times i've seen one boy with one girl then that girl with another boy and that boy goes on to another girl then another girl y'all they're not there for a relationship so be careful okay but without further ado i will see you guys when i decide to come out with some more content because i just don't know what to record anymore but wish y'all the best Sending so much love and good luck and to all my FIU students. Good luck when fall semester start. And I hope to see all y'all at first week. I mean, yeah, first week, all the events, first week, first night, all that. Like, hope to see y'all there. Bye and good luck, Panthers. Ooh, I couldn't wait to say that. Like, I feel like I got so much school spirit, but I really don't. Like, I don't. But yeah, all right, y'all. Bye, my babies.